Every spring, the cherry trees burst into bloom throughout Japan. The elegant, subtle shades of the billowing blossoms tint the whole country, creating a wonderland as the petals scatter in the wind. Today, we look at sakura, the cherry trees and their blossom, and examine the undying appeal of Japan's best-loved flower. The arrival of the cherry blossom signifies that spring is at its peak in Japan. Because each tree is only in bloom for about a week, people flock to enjoy this ephemeral beauty. More than 300 varieties of flowering cherries grow around the country. Many of them have simple single layer flowers with a very delicate whitish pink color. As the weather starts to warm up, the cherries begin to blossom across Japan, first in the south, and then spreading north. Maruyama Park in Kyoto is famous for this 80-year-old weeping cherry. The slender branches droop almost vertically towards the ground. At night, the tree is artfully illuminated so that the blossom seems to glow in the darkness. The Yoshino area of Nara Prefecture lies within a UNESCO World Heritage Site. There are some 30,000 cherry trees on the hills here, many of them Yamazakura, or mountain cherries. This variety is distinguished by the reddish color of the young leaves that appear at the same time as the blossom. The Yamazakura, with their reddish leaves dotting the hillsides, make a charming contrast with the white blooms of other cherries. Since ancient times, cherry wood has been put to many different uses. This timber is from a 200-year-old Yamazakura tree. Thanks to its strength and natural sheen, cherry wood is much prized for use in luxurious furnishings. Cherry leaves are edible and are incorporated into seasonal foods. Salted and preserved, these fragrant leaves are used as wrappings for traditional rice cakes known as sakura mochi. This lacquered box used for storing letters is decorated with motifs, both of the blossom and also the falling petals. It's a design that elegantly evokes a sense of springtime. In ancient times, it was the custom for the Japanese nobility to make trips up into the hills in the spring to look at the blossom. This inspired the poetry they wrote. About 1,000 years ago, blossom viewing became an established custom among the nobility. A distinctly Japanese culture developed during this period, and greater importance was placed on the blossom of the trees that grew wild in the hills, especially the cherries. About 400 years ago, blossom viewing caught on as a form of entertainment for ordinary townspeople as well. There were few places where masses of people could come together to party under the blossoms, so cherry trees were planted in parks around Edo, the capital city. In the mid-19th century, a major development occurred. A new variety of flowering cherry was created. Known as Some Yoshino, it has large flowers that are almost pure white with an austere beauty. Because the flowers open before any of the leaves appear, each tree is entirely smothered in blossom. The overall effect is extraordinary. Some Yoshino cherries only bloom for a very short period of time, and their petals seem to start dropping almost as soon as they've opened. This dovetails perfectly with the traditional Japanese aesthetic of enjoying not only the beauty of the flowers in full bloom, but also their ephemerality. For over a thousand years, people in Japan have loved the understated beauty of the cherry blossom because it fits so well with their traditional sensibility.